She's not cute. I have an idea. I don't know what she's doing. Like, what the fuck? I still need to like follow up about that. I also need to hit up my therapist. Look at that booty. It's so okay. I just thought this looked really cool. Makeup is done, but let's see if we can fix this. <laughs> Cause uh, she's not cute. Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I'm actually getting ready right now because Rem and I are going on Kelsey Kreppel's podcast, which I'm really excited for. She is the sweetest person ever, but we don't know each other that well. It's always weird like meeting influencers. Cause like when you like when you don't know them and then you're like, oh, please don't be mean. But like she was like one of the nicest people ever. So we're doing that. It is currently 2 p.m. I didn't wash my hair because I was like, I don't need to. And now I'm like, I think I should have washed my hair. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. I'm wearing our Pretty Basic merch content, baby content. I know that it's sold out right now, but let me know if you want to restock. I'm also wearing this Dickies like skirt. And then, cause it's oh so trendy right now to do this, I just folded over the top part of it. Part of me thinks it'd be cute if I had like like white briefs underneath, like underwear showing. But to be honest, I don't even think I have. Remember when like Calvin Klein, like 2016, Calvin Klein had their moment. Obviously, they're still iconic in Calvin Klein. But I just think of me. Lauren and Mia did a Mia Larisha video. And Mia's video was so funny because she did this whole bit about like, hashtag my Calvins. And it was so funny. So anytime I think of Calvin Klein, I always think of that. But I'm trying to think of what will go. Look, maybe, should I do braids? That's kind of cute. My bangs need a trim too. They're like long. It's the one thing about the bangs that I don't like is I feel like I'm constantly getting bang trims. But like, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm like, or is this too schoolgirly? I do braids. Oh, no, that's kind of cute. While I do this, you guys, I had the in most, like, best weekend ever. One, went to the Lady Gaga concert. Fucking iconic. But earlier that day, I thought I had a tennis lesson because I booked one, obviously. This is a long story, but long story short, I was begging Ashley and her boyfriend to come to a tennis lesson because I was like, oh my God, I feel like you guys would really like it. Ashley's been before, but he hasn't. So we tried to schedule it, trying to, tried to figure out days that we would both, like, you know, it'd work out. Finally decided on a day. The day before, my tennis coach was like, hey, can you actually do 8 to 9.30 instead of 8.30? I was like, oh my God, yeah, let's do it. So we're there Saturday morning, eight o'clock. And I was like, well, that's so weird. There's a padlock on the gate. Normally he's like always there, you know? I was thinking maybe he's running a little late. A few minutes go by. And then I really think about it. I was like, this guy is never late. So then I reach up the text. He had asked if we could switch days and the time, not just the time. So I thought he was just moving it up half an hour. He asked if we can do Sunday instead. And I was like, I'm an idiot. So there we are. We woke up so early. It's like 8 a.m. We're like, dang, what do we do? So we ended up having like a little West Side morning and we like go um, to, I think it's called the Great White in Venice, which was so good. We get breakfast. It's eight o'clock. So there's literally no one in line. Like we were able to walk in. Normally it's so crowded there and you need reservations. We're sitting and I'll put it on the screen. I look over and there's this beautiful like potted plant situation. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want something like that for the house, it's stunning. Then Ashley says, oh, I bet money that it's this one brand, Olive something something. And I was like, wait, what? She shows me their Instagram. I kid you not. In the bio, it basically says that today, the day we were there, it says in their Instagram bio that they're having a drop at 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I was like, wait, what? Like, what is the chance that we happen to come here? We happen to figure out, I don't know if I like this. I feel like it's a little too like Halloween schoolgirl vibes, but I like the edginess of it. So I'm thinking, oh my God, in 30 minutes, they're going online with a drop. That's amazing. Set a timer. 30 minutes later, I go on the website and realize, oh, it's not an online thing. It's an in-person thing. So after we finish eating, we're like, let's just go swing by this place. Like, let's see what it's like. We go and it's like a warehouse sale. And when I tell you it was like restoration hardware, but like so discounted, not not actually restoration hardware, but like the decor and the pots and everything was so stunning and so beautiful. And it's all handmade from like India and all these like really cool places. So they're really one of a kind pieces, right? I was in heaven, okay? I did in fact get some things. 
you will be seeing a haul because they were delivered like a few hours ago. I got five things, I got three pots, and then um, I'll show you, I'll just show you. Okay, this is pot number one. So I moved the olive tree because this is uh, one of my new beauties. She is stunning, she's beautiful. I need to cut this off. How nice is this? Also, I'm excited because if without that tree there, I can actually like have a mirror and not have freaking branches just like this. So this is the first one. Also, I think not having a schoolgirl vibe is the move with these sandals. I don't know. <laughs> but I got that one and then I also got this one, which this is just like a trough, but I mean, you can kind of have it inside or outside, but I most likely we'll be moving it. It's just so heavy. Like we had to move it ourselves from where the last one was. And as you can see, we had to put on a blanket and like scoot it. Like it is heavy, like heavy. I obviously am gonna get a tree for it. So I need to figure out the exact type of plant that I want and tree. But then I also need to figure out the exact spot I want it to go. I actually do think it would look here, good here, scoot in more and then with the tree like planted and stuff. I had the thought of putting it here, but I think it's just too short. Like I, this, is, this is such a big space. So I feel like it needs a taller planter like this one. Right now I have all of our like the pots and random trees just like oh my god like everywhere because I'm trying to figure out where I want them all to go. But I am obsessed. I also got these two pots. One of them I got for Ashley for her new place. Tear. So sad. Also got this one which I put here in the bathroom um, with some fake ukulele. I can't talk. <laughs> Guys this is so bad. Deep breath. <sighs> Restart and then this is the last one that I got and I actually kind of like the white how this one's painted I just have some fake eucalyptus in here, but I feel like it looks so much more luxe I don't know than like the last one that I had which there's nothing wrong with the last one if you guys even remember it But I just I really like this a lot. So that's my little haul. I'm running late. So we gotta go Also now I really look like a fucking school girl because I have a backpack <laughs> Literally this whole morning I was like, oh, it looks too scroll girly and then I was no, like, I do now I'm wearing a fucking so I purposely wear these sandals to make them more like chill. It's like a part of the aesthetic. Like the vibe, the backpack. I think it looks cute. No, I was just, it was an ordeal. I was very much like, mm. oh, you were stressed about it? I was just like, I don't know. And then my hair is oily. So I was like, oh, I'll just like. No, I think it's so cute. I thought you were like leaning into it. Well, it like no. Nah. <laughs> 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 he doesn't like it. I no, like I do. I do. Can I not just say, I was like, oh, I love this skirt. Like literally this whole vlog is me saying that. And then just for me to be like, Okay, I'm going. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You need a lunchbox. <laughs> well, I'm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. My purse is in my backpack. The backpack's just Felicia. like school. Yes. You can't help it. I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm late. We're at the studio. We just finished recording. <laughs> me me pushing this away as if I didn't just put it. Yeah, <laughs> but this was great, guys. We had circle time. Hi. It was amazing. You were my first guests. Yay. That's Marsh. Hey, Marsh. Marsh. We, love Marsh. we love Marsh. Killing it over there. But it was so good. When do you normally drop episodes? It's coming out on Thursday. This oh, Thursday? Easy peasy. Yeah. Right oh, there. quick turnaround. It's all Marsh. Hopefully we didn't. <laughs> You're like, not me. <laughs> Okay, we just finished the podcast and I am currently walking because literally no one's around right now. Hold on, now there's one person. I jinxed it. And boom. Anyways, Pockets was so fun. I love her. I think she's like the sweetest person ever. And currently headed to meet Rem at a coffee shop and we're gonna edit and have a little editing date. Up, got, oh, there's a smudge. Sorry, I guys, I keep trying to clean the smudges, but then I'll be editing and I find them and I'm like, Budge. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I believe it is the next day. Rem and I went, Rem and I, what am I fucking saying? Oh, I think the last clip you saw, Rem and I were editing at Joe and the Juice last night, which got some stuff done, which is great. As you can tell, I am full glam. And the reason is uh, that I did not, um, as you can tell, I'm full. <coughs> as you can tell, She's full glam. Did I do this? No. Will I take credit for it? No. Got my hair and makeup done because we're recording pretty basic today and I felt like I looked 
kind of decently good. So I kind of wanted to uh, get some filming done, you know, before I have to leave. And this is actually perfect because I also had a CB2 order that I've been meaning to haul for you guys. And I meant to do it yesterday. And I completely forgot because I was such a hot mess. I'm feeling way better today. I think I was just anxious. Like I very much felt like I had ADHD yesterday, which apparently I do mildly. I still need to like follow up about that. I also need to hit up my therapist, but I just felt, I felt very like, like, a, like, you know, so anyways, I need to pack up a second outfit because Lauren Gerardo is coming on the pod today, but I wanted to do that haul for you guys. I should bring a backup option because sometimes like the fits look good, but then when we sit on the couches and like the angles, like certain, I feel like it's actually kind of hard to find an outfit that like is flattering, but cute and just you feel comfortable in. So yeah. Okay. If this is fit one, oh, I guess I could wear like, those are cute. Instead of just white tennies. Oh, are we gonna do these ones? It's cute. I'll do the black and white ones. Whew, okay, I need to pack a second outfit for the second episode. And then I also need to pack a second shirt in case we hate this. It's also very hot out. So hopefully I don't sweat all this makeup off before we get there. Actually, maybe I'll bring this plot twist. I think I'll bring this, but wear something else there. That sounds like the move. Huh. Okay, we changed to a longer version white sleeve. And I think it's really cute actually with the bra strap kind of like poking out just cause I felt like it'd be better for like sitting and stuff. The cropped one's really cute, but I don't know if I can sit through like an hour long podcast and not, and I just want to feel comfortable. But we have a CV2 haul. I'm not sure if this is everything I ordered or it low-key could even just be, oh, I think this is only one thing. Wait. I feel like it's safe to say that my whole room transformation situation has definitely inspired me to kind of fix up the house, even with Ashley moving out, which feels crazy to say still. I feel like it kind of makes me be like, oh, like this is fully my house now. Like, how do I want it to look? So I, I don't know, I'm excited. So I've been buying just random little things. Yeah, this is the only thing in here. So you'll have to wait for another box to see what else I got. Why does the boxes kind of smell like mac and cheese? <laughs> oh, yay, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be and that's what I was worried about. Ah, oh, this is the Ava bust. You know you're getting like older and mature when you're like, I want a statue of like a woman. You know what I mean? Or like, look at that booty. I swear this smells funky. Like it smells like food. It must be the plaster or the paint. If anyone else got this, can you confirm? Maybe I'm tripping. My eternal struggle of wanting this to go up in my room, but then also wanting to actually decorate downstairs. So we'll see. I feel like my room doesn't need this because my room's like done. I was just gonna put it on the bookshelf, but like it could look cute over here. Well, that was easy. I definitely thought there was gonna be like four other things in here. So until next time, but we got our, our little bust. Oh my God, wait, this would be such a funny photo. I have to do that on my Instagram. Y'all, that's funny. Speaking of, go follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. I've been having fun with Instagram lately. Like, I feel like I'm definitely not taking myself too seriously. Like, obviously I'll, I'll post like a thirsty, you know, selfie moment, but then I'll post like a double chin moment. So we love the photo dumps, you know what I mean? We'll put this here for now. I've actually been wanting to kind of fix up this corner. I also know this is just how it's always gonna be. Like your house is never fully done. Like your space is never fully done. By the time you get it done, you want something else. But this is how big it is. Like it's bigger than this. Well, that's pretty big. I know her name is like the Ava bust, but I part of me feels like we should rename her just cause love you Ava. I just think of Ava Gutowski. Like that's all I think of, which like not like I don't want to think about you, but I just, you know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Comment below what we should name her. But anyways, I need to pack up. I'm gonna clean up, then I'm gonna pack up. We got our matcha. Taylor King, I think this was yours or it was Ashley's. I'm, I will buy you five more, I'm so sorry. But it was the only thing I could have. I'm just gonna bring these for a little snack, so. Also, I got this bag off of Amazon. It's just like this like white puffer bag. I kinda like it. She's cute. Let's go. Hot mess. We're in the stew. In the stew. Also, we always do this. We didn't plan this. We need to like take notes of when we do it. I, 
Yes, there's so many times we're both wearing a button. We both never really wear button downs. And of course, not only the same day, the same exact episode, we're both wearing baggy button downs. I was gonna say, I grabbed this on the way out because I was running so late and I was like, I'm gonna make it work. Also, your left lash. I know. Okay. I have lash glue if you need. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. BRB, BRB. It's a mess! Uh, I'm scared. Yeah. Guys, after months of trying to make this work, we officially have Miss Lauren Geraldo. 12-3-30 herself in the studio! We should have been doing 12-3-30 while we chatted, except I would have been driving. Oh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> so go listen to the episode. Go subscribe to her. I'm so excited for this episode. I didn't know you've never been on a podcast. I'm scared. Like, she was like, where's the alcohol? We <laughs> okay, we're back home. I changed into workout clothes because I didn't have time to get on the treadmill or anything this morning. I said, Alicia, you're going to do it tonight when you get home. And now I am forcing myself to do it, even though I'd rather just sit on my couch. And guess what I found? This package has been in the garage for a while because I could have sworn it was a package for Ashley. And per, you know, the unboxing we did this morning, I was saying how, oh, I expected there to be more stuff because I ordered more. Well, CP2 is owned by Crate and & Barrel and I clearly didn't put that together when I was waiting for a CP2 package. So part three of my decor haul, this vlog, I feel like it's spread out through this, out this entire vlog, but here we go. Okay, this makes more sense. God. Okay, three more things. Oh, this is simple and easy, but this is, I just got two of their candles because it actually wasn't as expensive as I thought they were gonna be. Two candles, this kind of looks like drumsticks because in here is this really cute candle holder that looks like this cute little knot. And now I feel like it's just like, I don't know, it's a little pretzel knot thing. And then the thing goes in the, why do I feel like that's really tall? Well, I guess we could just burn it down. Candle holder. Small, transparent. Oh, okay. This was just really sick. If I don't like it, I'm definitely gonna return it. Oh my God, it comes with a glove? Is it for fingerprint? What? Why would it come with gloves? She said white glove delivery. I just thought this looked really cool. It's this completely clear speaker that looks like this. I know. This is the most me thing ever. Like it's completely clear. I thought that was so sick. So maybe I'll put that over there. Or I was also picturing this on the bookshelves over in the office. I love how it came with gloves. Like I feel like that's so random, but I'm gonna test it out. Cause if I'm not obsessed with it, I'm gonna return it. It was a little expensive. I'm just hoping it's not just like aesthetically cute. I hope it's actually a good speaker. Like I want this bumping through the house. You know what I mean? These gloves are so interesting. Like not that I don't get it. Cause I get it. You don't want fingerprints on it, but like is that necessary? Anyways, that is officially my recent haul of some decor that I've purchased. So I hope that you liked this. I'm gonna force myself to work out right now. Ashley asked me to go to the store and get some sides for dinner and I didn't do that. So... Do that. <laughs>